So welcome to my video of the top 12 reasons why I find Jakarta annoying. First of all, let me tell you, I'm actually a fan of Jakarta. Watch my other video, the top 11 reasons why I love Jakarta, and you'll see. But these are some of the things that I personally just find a little bit annoying. Let's get straight into it. Let's start with number 12. Number 12 is the Indonesian rupiah. The highest denomination is 100,000 rupiah, which is only worth $7. When you go to an ATM and out comes 30 banknotes, because usually they come out in 50,000, your wallet will be bursting at the seams with the Indonesian rupiah. And the lowest denomination, the 2,000 and the 1,000, is just worth hardly anything. So the Indonesian rupiah is at number 12. Humidity is number 11 because in Jakarta and Indonesia and the tropics, the humidity is hellish. As soon as you step outside, you'll be a sweating wreck. And that's because the relative humidity is 80%, which means it's 80% of the way to being totally saturated. That means your body can't use its natural cooling mechanism of sweating. The sweat just stays on the skin and you feel clammy and horrible. Humidity is not fun in Jakarta. Let's go to number 10. Electricity is number 10 for me because it's a pain for two reasons. The first one is you've got to go onto an app, pay some money and you get a 20 digit code which you've got to carefully type into this keypad. If you get a digit wrong you start all over again. The second thing is my apartment and lots of other apartments and houses have low electricity. That means you can't have things on at the same time. I can't have my AC and microwave on at the same time because if I do, it'll blow the circuits and everything will go off. You'll end up boiling your kettle on a stove. That's the only way to do it. Maybe a third reason as well is if you have not got enough electricity topped up, it could just go off, everything cuts out, and if that's in the middle of the night, which has happened to me, you'll have no AC, no lights, you've got to somehow get that app on and top it up and type that code in. Electricity is a pain in the neck. Number nine and the most annoying things about Jakarta is rain. Well, we live in a rainforest climate, so there's no getting away from it. And Jakarta has 1,800 millimetres of rain a year. Compare that to London. London has about 700. Every day it seems to be raining, and the rainy season lashes down. I got soaked yesterday on the way back from work, and I was only walking for about five minutes. To, so rain is a pain in Jakarta. Number eight are the caged birds that you see around Jakarta. I think it's a tradition that came over from Bali whereby well-off and affluent families kept songbirds outside their houses and villas and it spread to Jakarta which means you get markets and shops that sell these poor birds but there is a serious side to this because although songbird trade is legally allowed in Indonesia it's only if they were bred in captivity but the demand is so high that they're scouring forests and grabbing the wild birds and look at this bird here a yellow crested cockatoo crammed into a water bottle and there was 20 of them found on board a ship number seven on my list of things that annoy me about Jakarta is well the city is just a little bit ugly sure there are pockets of beauty in places and some of the rainforest bits are nice but by and large it's just ugly and not very appealing to look at there's loose cables dangling everywhere there's shop fronts that don't look appealing and some of these back streets look plain awful that is why this is at number seven number six is the amount of stray cats you find on the streets of jakarta i read that there are about 250 million stray cats roaming the streets and hardly any of them have been neutered despite the government's best efforts you see pregnant cats everywhere and you see some pitiful kittens at times it's heartbreaking some people try to take them in but it's like a needle in a haystack there's only so much you can do they are everywhere number five are the sorry state of the pavements in jakarta walking is a real ordeal because when you find the pavements they're often cracked missing or there are gaping holes in them sometimes the pavements are not even there i read somewhere that of all the roads in jakarta only seven percent of them have pavements number four is the dismal air quality in jakarta in 2019 there were only two days out of the whole year that were regarded as healthy the rest of them there was dust particles chemicals 
forest fires or from the factories churning out smoke, the vehicles emitting all of their pollution. And it's got so bad that recently 32 residents of Jakarta have taken the government to court for their lack of involvement in reducing the air quality. Number three is the amount of litter that plague the streets and rivers and seas of Jakarta. People everywhere just simply throw their trash onto the street. In 2016, so much trash collected in a river in Jakarta that it made world headlines. I read that two kilometers of it, almost one meter deep, was just covered in trash, which for the residents who live nearby was causing disease, malaria, and of course, flooding. The trash in Jakarta is at number three for a real reason. Number two are the bugs of Jakarta. They are everywhere. Ants will invade your house. Mosquitoes will buzz around causing dengue or even malaria. You might even get cockroaches. One horrible story was when I went away for a weekend and I went back to my sink when I got back and I put my hand to take out the plug and when I lifted it up, there was cockroaches crawling all over my hand that had been on the underside of it. It was disgusting, I flung them everywhere and they were all over the walls. The bugs are horrible, but not all of them. Look at this moth, an atlas moth. It's the biggest moth in the world. This landed on my apartment door. That was pretty good. It should be no surprise to find number one is the traffic of Jakarta. Every day, People in Jakarta spend one hour and 11 minutes stuck in traffic jams. Getting from here to the city centre, which isn't that far, takes at least an hour, maybe two hours. 20 million vehicles clogging the inadequate road system every single day, which obviously adds to the pollution. The traffic is notorious and it will cause you problems. That's why it reaches the top spot. So there you go my top 12 reasons why Jakarta annoys me. What do you think of that list? Have I missed anything out? Have I included something that shouldn't be there? Let me know. See you next time on my Indonesian adventures.